says, I will pay you if I am fully satisfied or you get nothing. Winter is coming. The winters are hard and there's no radiators in my house. Mount them. Hello, everybody, Grace Joe Blazer. We're back with more House Flipper. But today, things are substantially different. Substantially different. The developer got with me and sent me the pre-release version. So we are checking out the pre-release version right now. It's going to be coming out on Steam in a little bit. I'm going to have links in the description below. Now, we played this game for a little while. And it has gone through some freaking changes. And it is looking really good. I'm like really surprised at how good the game is. Now, a lot of stuff has changed compared to like the beta that we were Like they shoved it all the changes in one chunk. You can see, things just look straight up different, but I noticed something immediately that blew my mind. Are you ready for this? Mother of God, what happened to the ultra squeegee? We've been giving this sad stack of french fries. It basically looks like a, like a thing of McDonald's fries, I'm not gonna lie. Now, we have this shack that we're living in, and I also saw something amazing. When I was checking the game out, I noticed that they had also given me access to something called the Apocalypse House Flipping DLC. That is like the most random thing I've ever heard of. We're gonna be flipping houses in the apocalypse when all the zombies got done with them and they left the house behind and now we have to sell it to the few survivors that are left? I don't know what it means. Uh, we have new skill points over here. The Ultra Hyper Mop 2018. <laughs> And dispose of trash in range. Holy crap, that's like a really good upgrade. Some dirt, most dirt, all dirt, or faster cleaning. Okay, I gotta know, hold on, do we get a different- Oh my god, we do. You get a different mop each time. Now this looks a little bit more like our squeegee. Alright, let's roll up in here. You can see we got crap laying all over our little- our little villa here, or whatever you wanna call this. So this is the thing that we're starting with now. It is literally a crap shack. Is that a leaf blower? Oh, it's a chainsaw! God, I feel like such a jerk. For a second there, I thought it was a leak floor. Go ahead and clean all this up. We can, uh, we can squeegee our way to fame and fortune for just a second over here. You're gonna notice right over there, I have a nice cup of coffee laying around. Everyone that knows me knows that old Gray loves his coffee. I like to have a nice clean bathroom. Uh, do the urine stains come out of the toilet? They do not. So eventually we're just gonna have to like buy our way into a new toilet. Luckily though, the water stains come right off the, the roof. I don't know how that happens, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And uh, yeah, everything looks much better. It looks a little bit like a homeless person was tossing his feces in here, but not totally like such. Now, over to the computer to see what sort of things that we have. Now, the first thing I normally like to do- Oh my god, okay. So, there are substantially more houses here than we started with before. There's 20. Actually, this is the most houses we have ever had before. Now, I think one thing that they changed- Oh yeah, here you go! Is you could see the inside of the houses, but on top of this, now I'm really curious, is there like an apocalypse house in here somewhere? Does it- It said the apocalypse, these ones all look okay. It looks like the Barbie house over there that we saw at one time. It looks like some graffiti, maybe some gang activity up in here. This one's looking pretty nice. Uh, over here, we got like a nice mansion, a little brick house, and then... Oh, I found it! Right here! That is the sadness. Oh, mother of God! Look at the inside! Oh, no! I will sell for renovation. A fire broke out at home, but the house did not suffer too much. I think that your idea of, too, of not suffering very much and our idea of suffering is pretty different. Uh, and I estimate it's conditioned as good. Hmm. I feel like there should be some quotation marks there. The house has two rooms, a kitchen, and a bathroom. I want this house. We need to buy this house so we can fix this. I gotta see the inside of this. It looks god awful and it's exactly what I want. Now, in order to make money in the beginning, normally what we have to sleep? That's interesting. Normally what we have to do is take jobs. And right over here we have a couple of them. One over here from Jack Grahan. It says, I will pay you if I am fully satisfied or you get nothing. Winter is coming. The winters are hard and there's no radiators in my house. Mount them. Sounds slightly dirty. Let's go over here to Caroline Smith. Caroline Smith says, hi, we need to clean the garage. Please throw away all the boxes, trash and old tires. Please don't forget to clean the window. It's better to not move the tools. My husband doesn't like it when someone moves them and he can't find them afterward. Regards, Carolyn Smith. I think we're gonna go ahead and get ready for winter first. We'll get some money off of this. Then we'll- Oh, I saw something! What did it say about kids at the bottom? Did you see a little thing in the bottom part of the screen? There was like a little tool tip that came up and it said like, 
you know, I hate kids or something like that. This house looks fantastic. I think there's no cleaning. I think we just have to mount the radiators. All right, let's get this done real quick. I went to go look at some of the new stuff and oh, there's some new stuff. We got stoves, four burner stoves, an electric cooker that was there, an electric heater. Okay. Oh, an induction cooktop, a regular gas stove. We got a water heater now. Okay, water heater two, water heater small, mount of a washer, refrigerators. Uh -huh. How about the home electronics? Do we get like a legitimate computer screen? I remember I was looking for a computer. Oh, there's a DVD player now. There's the computer. Okay, microwave oven. Yep, there's a monitor. I had been wanting one of those for the longest time. And we had to use the hanging TVs and the regular TVs instead of monitors. So we have legit monitors now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Survival. Okay, boots. Box. Was this? I know this was not here before. There is no way. Bunk bed. Food container. Large container. Reinforced door. Power. Oh, this must be the apocalypse DLC. You can turn a house into an apocalypse house. Oh my god. Power generator. A gun. And then you have pickled cu. Wait, isn't pickled cucumbers just pickles? Oh, whatever. Nuts, a jar of, this does not look like a jar of soup. It looks like a jar of brains. A really kick-ass knife. An M16? A first aid kit? Oh, oh yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I know exactly what we have to do now. Look at all the canned food and your toilet paper and water and turp a turbine power generator. What? Okay. We need to buy, we need to buy the deliverance house. Now, I call that house the Deliverance House. If my wife were to see that, she would call it the Shawshank Redemption House. Now, you may ask yourself, Gray, why on earth would your freaking wife do that? Because she's never seen Deliverance, and whenever she hasn't seen anything, she just defaults to a movie that she's seen before. For her, she liked the Shawshank Redemption, so now every time I see a house that looks like someone needs to die in it, and I call it the Deliverance House, she always says the Shawshank Redemption house over to the tab area. So what do we got over here? Mounting, new perk. Okay, so faster plastering, paneling, or mounting. Mmm, plastering. The tiling and the paneling is usually pretty good because it takes forever. But for right now, we're probably going to be doing a lot of mounting. So I think I'm going to choose that one. It's a lovely house you have here. Oh, buyers. Oh, oh, you can click on the people and it tells you all about it. there's Chang Choi. There's our boy Chang Choi. He's only 20 years old. This guy thinks only about his study. He lives in New Jersey. Wait, this is real. I lived in New Jersey. This is real. Like, I'm pretty sure that road is real too. But Monroe Township, I don't write where that is. Ah, it's Choi Flipper at gmay.com. He's got a birthday and everything. Wait a second. By this, he would actually be 19. I'm not going to worry about it. Look at all these people. We know a lot of these guys. There's Jimmy Trader. Remember him? Got the small family. They bought several buildings from a... What? <laughs> Lone Wolf 37. It's like they took someone's name right out of Call of Duty or something. 37 years old. He's a former military tactical planner. He wants to protect his family at all costs. Even if he needs to kill someone. Oh my god. Okay. Zero hour. There are those unprepared will be like zombies. They will kill to survive. I want to be ready for it. He's from Altoona. And then we have Maria. She wants a house with a bunker allowing her to survive a nuclear explosion by at least a half a year. Okay. Oh, this game. This game. This game got exactly where I wanted it to be now. Man, I'm glad I put my point in mounting because we're doing a crap ton of it right now. We gotta slide this sink in over here like it's no big deal. Putting down nuts and bolts in there, have you? Oh, look at this. Matt Marlowe says, My beautiful wife is pregnant with her first child, and we've also bought a new three-bedroom home, which requires some repairs and redecorating. We have no spare time to clean and renovate the house, so we need your help. Can you please clean the house and set up a nursery, complete with a crib, a changing table, and maybe some toys? We know it'll be a girl. So could you please paint the room light pink? Thank you so much. Soon to be dad, Matt Marlowe. Sure, let's go do it real quick and get our money. I just spent some of my, oh, mother of God. Oh, it's the paintbrush. I wonder if our painter looks any different. Eh, it pretty much looks the same. I remember I had to spend my points for negotiate. So we ended up getting our negotiating points on and now we get 10% more for each of these things that we complete. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's an actual window cleaning mechanic now. Oh, it's like a dust buster or something. Oh, it, it works so weird too. 
It's like I'm kind of floating my mouse across the screen. This was this was not here before. So that's a new mechanic, cleaning the windows. All right, all right. New cleaning skill, we're getting the hyper mop. What's the hyper mop look like? This is the old mop. This is what we had before. Wow, the mop that we had before was the hyper mop. No wonder. I'm gonna tell you what, this is some good income, this job. Look at this, we're already up to three grand. I'm just, we're gonna be able to buy the apocalypse house in no time. And we're gonna make it fit for an apocalyptic king. It's gonna have the generators and the guns laying all over the place and everything. All right, let me go ahead and clean these windows. This is getting me a pretty penny, I'm gonna tell you what. Go ahead and kind of move my ultra squeegee back and forth here. A little bit difficult to control, but it's not too bad. Look at that, done in one shot. 3270 now, come on, keep that money flowing. Give me, let's break 4K. I wanna break 4K for this. All that done like that there, it was close enough. 33, okay, we're, we're getting there. All right, we need a nice little crib over here like this. We need pastel pink and then bookcase calyx i think it's called or something like that kl yeah that right over oh it's just cal all right glossy gray white nut black or yeah we're gonna make this yellow it's gotta be yellow uh oh right over here just kind of like that there this way the kid can read his books and stuff like that throw a couple of uh cabinet with changing table okay oh no i forget what it was like to paint like a scrub again. Cause the problem is, is that until you get the, the perk, you can repaint the same wall over and over again and it uses up your paint, which sucks. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've wanted that perk. All right, now that we have that perk, it's not quite as bad anymore. Cause now we can kind of like, if we want to, we can kind of like float over several walls like this. Woo, that took two full buckets of paint. Holy crap. Now, oh, here we go. I was gonna say, it's showing that there's still some rooms that we gotta fix up in here. Here's one of them. Clean the dirt, clean the window. That shouldn't be too bad. I just need to find, it's like a speck of dirt laying around here somewhere. I don't know what, it... I don't have the, uh, the, the heat seeking dirt ability yet. I think I'm gonna buy that. And that right there is a hundred freaking percent. Give me my six grand. Oh yeah. We may even want to do one more job just so we have a little bit more money to play around with. Cause we're gonna have, I think like four grand as we go into the next house purchase, what we got here? Walls, okay, almost forgot. Can you please replace the broken electrical socket, says Amanda Johnson. Uh, we could do that, or we have just this garage cleaning. I think I'm gonna do the garage cleaning real quick. All right, I got a little bit of a bet. <laughs> Again, it's so weird that you can pick this up. Like, how random is that? Can I go anywhere with it? Can I take it, hold on, I wanna see if like, I can like take it out into the street or anything like that. No, nah, it won't let me do it. Okay, let me uh, let me just throw it back over there. Open up the garage. Let's see what I'm working with in here. How craptastic is this place? Mother of God! I should have known. Everything must go. Everything must go. All these boxes. All this trash bag. What was your husband doing up in here? Skinning teenagers? Come on, lady. Now I know he doesn't want his freaking tools touched, so let's make sure we don't do that. 100 foot. This doesn't seem like very much money for this particular uh, this particular thing right now. We're only up to like 152 dollars. That ain't nothing. What a jib job. 500 bucks. I mean, it was quick. I made my $500 in like, you know, a minute and a half. So I, I guess I can't complain about that, but still, damn. Anthony Grace says, recently large rooms have become popular, which is proven by the fact that my neighbor and my neighbor of my neighbor demolished several walls in their homes. I would also like to have several walls demolished in my house. The walls between the living room and the kitchen seem unnecessary. What's more, the neighbor from across the street painted their walls in their bedroom with a bright blue sky color, and I would also love to have the same. I believe that such a professional company will deal with my request at very low cost without any problems. I don't know about low cost. I'm expecting at least um, 10 grand for this. All right, boys, it's time to bring the walls down. Oh, this hammer looks freaking legit. Although we're eventually gonna have to uh, get a better hammer because I think that the hammer is one of the things that you can definitely buy. Because right now, this looks like something that we got out of the trash bin. It looks powerful. They don't make them like they used to, if you look at this thing. I mean, it, it looks like it's straight up made from a dwarven forge or something. Ooh, a brand new demolition skill. Hold on, let's find out what we can get over here. Built, no, I don't want no building. What are we talking about? Oh, demolition, okay. Upgraded hammer, uh-huh. Yeah, I want the upgraded hammer. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get up out of here. <laughs> Wear your hard hat, people. Because you never know what's up when Gray starts hammering stuff. Hey, we can just work right down the way over here. Like it's no big deal. There we go. Good. Good. What is this? Oh, we got a door. Get out of the way, door. I don't have time for your crap. Oh, yeah, we're making big money. Oh, we're making big money from this. 
This is this right here. It, it, well, I don't think it's gonna be a ten thousand dollar job, but this may be a good six seven thousand dollar job. We're already at two grand with the swing of my hammer. Uh, we're at twenty one fifty, and then uh twenty two hundred. Hold on, we got a brand new upgrade over here. I want a better hammer. I want the professional. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, this hammer's amazing. Yeah. Like the the bricks and stuff really go flying. Okay, tasks in the other room. We we're gonna have to do a little painting. And where's this painting at over here? Modify wall. Ah, paint it. Sleepy blue. Cause it's like a dark blue. We don't want none of that. Paint two walls at once. Yes, please. And we can complete the order, but I like to finish them all the way because it gives you more experience and stuff. So you get additional points to spend and the points really make the difference. I mean, it is freaking astronomical. Like not wasting extra paint on this is so good. I'm so happy about that. And once we get to painting four walls in a row, painting is gonna go by real quick. There we go. 5,200 bucks, absolutely. Oh, that's the stuff. Right there, the children need a desk to learn. Okay, I think we're ready to start putting together the uh, the apocalypse building. We've got $11,000 to play with. That seems to be pretty good. How much does this stuff cost? I haven't even looked. Well, let me go down here by survival. 12 bucks, oh wow, 2,000 for the power generator. 182 for that. So some of it costs a little bit, but we, we have money. We can do this. All right, we're doing it. Deliverance house. You belong to me now. Do you want to stay right now? Prefer stay in office. You can always go to the new house using the gate. Oh, well, let's go now. So now I guess you can legitimately use the gate, which is kind of nice. So we remember that one guy wants tons of guns and the lady wants it to be able to withstand a nuclear blast. So we could probably put like a woo. On the left, you can see thumbnails of buyers. From time to time, they will comment on your actions. Okay, so first things first. Oh, look at all this crap. Look at all this insanity. Hold on. Oh, this is the friggin' deliverance house, all right. Now, can I, uh, can I clean the outside of this? Or, oh! Oh, that brightened it right up, now didn't it? Bright turning that old wood into brand new. Okay, well, I guess I can clean. Wow, all right, yep, keep doing that. Don't mind me just picking up all this random gravel. I don't know how we're doing it, but I'm not gonna question it. Oh yeah, that dirt and grime will come right up. Look at that right there like it's no big deal. Dirt and grime. Coming right off. Do I have to jump up there to get that? Okay, I think that we've cleaned the outside as much as we can. Let's go inside and see. Oh, hold on. Can I sell this, like, broken down gate that's right over here? Oh, we can just remove it. Let us go inside and see what this horror show looks like. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Woo. Okay. Work's cut out for us. All right, just bring the mop out. Clean this right up. Right up. Oh, can we? I don't know if we can. It said to clean, but oh, we have to put new floors down. That's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to do new paint and everything. Now, just because we're preparing for the apocalypse doesn't mean that the inside has to look like the apocalypse, all right? We want this place to be fashionable and what in the hell? Wow. Okay. Fix the roof up. We want this place to be fashionable and functional and Look sweet and delicious. This couch has got to go because it straight up looks like hammered garbage. All these doors are going to have to go as well. You're going, you're going. That crap can go. All right, this is your sad kitchen. Up in here, we can get this cleaned up quite a bit as well. There's still some dirt left. I'd like to have somewhere to sleep. Oh, they're giving us little ideas. Come on and clean up here. Hold on, I'm, I'm freaking working on it. Give me a break. Yeah, the bathroom looks like a wreck. Yeah, that, that's not getting clean. That toilet, the urine and, and fecal material stains are not coming out of that one. Not much dirt left. Artistic disorder. This door is garbage. This door is garbage. This door is garbage. I don't like any of it. That's garbage. That door is crap. This door is crap. I don't know what this is. It looks like a bookcase. That's going too. That's going. I've decided we need some nice wood paneling up in here. And it needs to look legit. There we go. Oh, it goes down in one shot. I kind of like that, man. I don't have to work at it or nothing. There we go. All right. Nice wood paneling down. Now let's go and paint these walls. It's the apocalypse. So I'm going to use spring grass. This is going to be the green room. This is the room that you're in when the zombies are not attacking. Much better. You wouldn't even know. 
you wouldn't even know that it was once an apocalyptic house. Now, we do need a legitimate door in the front. Hold on. Here. Where, where's my special door? Oh, right there. Oh, yes. Hold on. Can I, can I shove it in here? Come here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hold on now. There it is. That's what you want. Perfect. Right there. All right, I want the dark paneling again because I like the way it looks for the floor. We'll do tile inside the kitchen probably, but for right now, right there we go. There. Okay, perfect. Now the floors are looking good. Now we just have to deal with the walls. Now that well, that's our green room. So this is going to have to be like the main living quarter entertaining area for the zombie stuff. So this is going to be, uh, I'm going to make this the, um, I don't know. Let's see over here. This is the Operation Blue Room right over here. That's what we're going to do. How many more things do we have to get before we can get the next painting perk? Uh, 46, huh? All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mad Max would be proud. Any Apocalypse Warrior would enjoy this right here. What a lovely shade of blue. It almost makes you forget that the entire planet has gone to hell in a handbasket with everyone eating each other and there have you. There we go. Looking good. Oh, missed a spot right over there. Looking good, looking good. Now for the kitchen over here. We need some delicious ceramic tiles. Right like that. I think that's what this kitchen actually had on it. But dirt tiles look like crap. So I want some nice tiles up in here. There we go. Right like that. Okay, looking good. We don't really do wall tiling where I live. We do paint. So I'm painting this Sandy Almond, I think it's called. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup threw up in here, but I'm totally okay with that. I am a huge fan of Reese's peanut butter cups. Let me tell you something. If we don't get top dollar for this house, I'm gonna knock this one's friggin' chiclets out. Speaking of chiclets flying out, it's time for story time with Gray, where I teach you how to not do dumb stuff because of the things that I've seen in my life. When I was a young man, I used to play hockey. One of my good buddies played hockey as well. One day, we were playing against a neighboring team, and this is why you don't high stick. My buddy got high stick, and when it happened, he could take a hit pretty good. So when he stopped playing for a moment, I knew something had gone terribly wrong. What had gone terribly wrong was the stick went up beneath his mask and ripped his two front teeth out. Like the two, you know, like the buck teeth? Ripped both of them out. I don't know if you've ever seen, like, teeth fly on ice. They bounce. It's crazy. Looks like little, uh, little skittles flying across the ground. There was a ton of blood. That was the only time that I've ever, in, like, real life, like, while I'm standing there, seen someone get their teeth ripped out of their mouth, and it was like a water fountain. I thought the kid was gonna die. He eventually had to get teeth implants. But that just goes to show you, kids. And he was wearing his mask, too. I can't even say wear safety equipment because he was wearing his safety equipment. Don't go too crazy playing these sports, man. You end up ripping some other kid's teeth out as chicklets be flying all over the ice. And then you traumatize some random dude that you don't know. But what it is, it turns out that the random dude is a YouTuber later on in life. Took it like a champ, too. I could see him trying to, like, hold the blood in. Like how you put your, ma your hand over your mouth. It didn't work. Like, at all. All right, this is going to be the survivalist kitchen over here. There's not going to be any freaking refrigerator because it's not going to have it. We are going to have a coffee maker and you got to have a microwave. You can't survive without these two things. All right, even in the apocalypse. So now we need plenty of kitchenware for this area over here. And I have just the thing. We also need, hold on, is there a, there we go. I need a little extra light. All right, we're getting all the emergency food on the bottom shelf over here. You want your emergency food down there. We have any cheese puffs? I know we had pickles. Where's the pickles at? Pickled cucumbers. Otherwise known as pickled lies. Let's go ahead and put a bunch of those down. All right, throw down some peanut butter over here. And by some peanut butter, I mean all the peanut butter. We've got, oh, hold on. Move this back a little bit, right there. We've got peanut butter. We've got rice to move in. This is a nice sewer grate. Wait, can I put this anywhere? Oh my God, you can. It's like the escape hatch or something, man. Put that right over there. There we go. Putting down John Wick's uh, bedside thing over here. No big deal. There we go. A couple of guns, a little bit of canned meat. Maybe I'll even put some tuna on the bottom over here. Oh, can I shove it in there? I don't know if I can. Hold on. I'm not sure if I can fit it. Oh, it won't go on there. All right. 
Got all the doors set up so far. I like how it opens and closes as if though it was a wooden door. Although we clearly know it's not. There we go. Can't just be all firearms all the time. Put a little picture over there. The picture is very interesting, says some of the people. Good. All right. And you boys know this final room all the way in the back of the house is the red room. Also known as the bathroom. If you're totally screwed and the zombies are all over your house, just like every movie ever made, everyone always retreats into the bathroom. All right, we're doing pretty good. We got a bunch of piles of water laying around. We got a knife and a hat over here. Obviously, you're not going to be going out of the bathroom too much once you're holed up in here. So we've got the, uh, the TV set up in here like so. We got your armory prepared for you. All righty. We got ourselves a power generator in here. I hope there's good ventilation, otherwise everyone's gonna die very quickly. Uh, it probably ventilates outside, I'm sure it's for. Fine, we got plenty of gas cans over here. Uh, we really need like a little sofa or something, I guess. All right, throw down some toilet paper, a couple more cans of food over here by the couch. If we make any money off of this, I'm gonna be freaking amazed. All right, and a couple of bucks. It's kind of hasty, but I think we're for the most part, we're done. Give it a once through. Oh, yes. Looking great. Looking fantastic. We really turned this place around. All right. It's time to sell this thing. Here we go. Are we sure we want to sell the house? Absolutely. freaking lootly Start the auction. Jack Tarrington. I want to rent this house to people. So it'd be great if they have a place to sleep. A big bedroom. How sweet. I don't understand what I need this kitchen for. It's for cooking, you schmuck. Raphael Erico says the first impression is important. So it's good that there's a living room. Stuff for little snots. Oh, because there's kid stuff in there. She don't like that. One bedroom. Okay. Chang Choi. Not our big contender right now. Place to study. Uh-huh. Dolan Trusk. Dolan Trusk is our man right now. I don't know where the um where the uh uh the apocalypse people are, but it doesn't matter. We still made eleven grand off of it. Oh, can you negotiate? Oh no, we can't yet. We have to we have to learn that skill. All right, we've flipped our first apocalypse house, and I'm sure there's plenty more to come. Well, we get to actually go into a basement, maybe, and make a legitimate fallout show. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Holy God. Uh, all right, I'll learn that next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode of House Flipper. Still, next time, folks. Stay foxy, much love.